And welcome to Can-Am Rising Strong Style. I'm your host, Steve Sorensen, the voice of Rising, joined once again by the voice of reason, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Jake Bellwood. And we had some time to kill, so figure why not watch some wrestling today. Can-Am Rising Strong Style. Let's go with these two newcomers today. Joe Coleman, a.k.a. Thunderlats, one of your favorites, taking on Will White. How can you not like a man called Thunderlats, honestly? Well, I prefer it if he put a shirt on. He's kind of making me feel bad about myself there. And let's not forget about his gorgeous girlfriend coming into the ring, the fiery Taylor Hendricks. Well, as beautiful as she may be, he needs to worry more about Will White that's in the ring rather than Taylor Hendricks outside the ring. And tell me a little bit more about this Will White. Will White is from Toronto. Been in the ring for about two years now. He's actually a reigning champion up in Toronto. And apparently a little disturbed at Thunderlats ducking underneath that lockup. Seems to have a few uh, issues with this Will White. Will White. That's what I see. Back to the action. Joe Coleman sizing up his opponent here. Do that one more time. I'm going to punch you in the face. Coleman's apparently ready. Will White's ready. Here we go. And Will White with the goal behind into a takedown. Quite the amateur background here. Keeping Joe Coleman on the ground. Now Coleman very concerned about his physique all of the time, all day, every day. This man never takes a break from the gym. Well, when you got a woman like that beside and uh, coming to the ring with you and he's your girlfriend, you've got to stay in peak physical condition at all times. I will say it's men like Will White and Joe Coleman that make me not need to go to the gym because they go twice a day. Do you even know where the gym is? Yeah, there's a cookie shop beside it. What's a gun? What's that racket? <laughs> Coleman staying right on top of Will White, tying him up with that headlock. And White seems to be in a bit of trouble here as though he cannot get himself out of that Coleman headlock. What? Well, maybe if I was paid, I'd be a professional. But anyway, back to the match. As Will White, little. <laughs> Hendricks grabbing his foot. Yeah, he seemed to trip a little bit there on the ropes. I don't think he tripped on the ropes. I think it was that Jezebel outside the ring taking his foot from him. That sweet, innocent girl could not trip a man. She hasn't been sweet and innocent since her 16th birthday. Believe me, I was there. Okay, I wish. Is that I was why there. she's not innocent anymore? Shot to the gut there by Coleman on to White. And a boot to the gut now. Joko. Will White with a spinning head scissor. Coleman tried for the counter, but just couldn't quite gape him. Will White. Now, he's got quite the different training. He has went through numerous different styles. He's actually got quite the lucha background as well. Firing Joel Coleman across the ring. Very strange, you don't see too many whites in Lucha of Libre. That family just hasn't really gotten that much experience in that kind of wrestling, but there you go. Will White setting him up for a suplex, takes him over and floats into the cover. He could have him here. And once again, Taylor Hendricks sticks her beautiful nose into his business. She's just pointing out that Coleman got his feet on the ropes. Really, it looks like she's tapping her head to see if there's anything in there. Will White, again getting distracted by Taylor Hendricks, needs to, oh! And Coleman cuts him off from behind. Will White needs to quit worrying about, Je about that Jezebel Hendricks outside the ring. And the ref needs to get Coleman off of his throat. This, enough is enough. She's just, he's just distracted by a raving beauty. Raving is one thing, but she is clearly inserting herself into this match more than she needs to and more than she should. She needs to stay out of the ring. If she wants to be in the ring so bad, maybe she should become a wrestler. I thought you 
Always making me look bad, Jacob. But that is true. She is quite the talent. Unfortunately, no one was available to take on Taylor Hendricks. As we see once again that vicious spinning elbow by Joel Coleman. Well, when you're trained by the likes of Thunderlads, who would want to take you on? I've got to say, as much as I don't like Joe Coleman, he clearly has the ability, the goods, and the talent to take himself all the way to the top. And he's just having his way with Mr. White right now. The crowd getting solidly behind Will White. Get real tired of your antics here, Jacob. Oh, oh, oh. Well, if you put if you quit putting the wrong emphases on the wrong syllable, everything would be fine here. But again, and Joe Coleman takes him down with a drop toe hole. And now Coleman talking to the referee about his abs. Oh, and Taylor well, Hendrick trying to give uh, a, a congratulatory good luck hug to Will White, wishing him well in the match. Just can't quite seem to get her arms around him though. Really, that's what you're saying happened? It's very clear she was choking him. And now Joe Coleman with just an absolute <laughs> jerk of a move, doing push-ups while pushing against his throat Look on the rope. Look at this. Brilliant move by Coleman. Thunderlats, you're a jerk. And a big clothesline to follow up. <sighs> you got to love the attitude of Joe Coleman here. And this is it. No, only two. No, I don't love the attitude. I think he's a jerk. I think he's a jerk, I think his girl is a jerk, and I think you're a jerk for getting Will White's name wrong all match. Hey, jerks are winners. And a low blow by White, another one. What is going on here? You're gonna allow that? That was to the stomach, and thank you for saying his name properly for once. And now Joe Coleman back on the offensive. Maybe looking at suplex Will White. Up and over, he's got him. Coleman's gotta stay on top, goes for the quick cover. Two, not enough to keep Will White down. A lot, of showing, dare. a lot of showing off by Coleman, but now it's time to get angry. It's time to get vicious and put this white man away. I'm really getting tired of you. You know, I take this seriously. I work hard. I do my research. You and, you, and you sit here and make fun of everything I do. You lip off about every one of these guys in the ring, and now you can't even pronounce their names properly? And Coleman on top of White now, pounding away. Actually, it was White on top of Coleman there. Well, you know. I... And trying to get his head together. Ra oh, distracting himself and taking a drop kick to the teeth for his troubles. You got me all flipped upside down. I'm all befuffled now. As you should be, and I do like it when you get flipped upside down. <laughs> Coleman for some reason asking the crowd for help. I don't think they're gonna help him very much. They don't seem to take him too kindly. What is going on with White though? He's constantly grabbing at his head. Is, is he hearing voices? What is wrong with this guy? I don't know, but he goes into a small package. Not quite enough to keep Coleman down. I don't think there's anything wrong with White, but there's a lot wrong with you. And Coleman missing the double ax handle. This could be the opportunity White needs to come back in this match. Coleman again missing a double axe handle. The forearm to the jaw takes him back into the corner. And follows it up with a running clothesline. Playing ping pong with White here. But with the reversal. Stop saying that. Ping pong. White. Stop saying White. It's not how you pronounce, you pronounce it. it that way. That's weird. Anyway, look at the replay here. Cross body by White. Only getting two. I hate you. More vicious shots by White in the corner. I don't know honestly why you pronounce it that way. It's very weird. White with the suplex. No, I'm not announcing. Forget it. Only getting two. Coleman kicking out. So As the lovely Taylor around. Hendricks looks on. So you put screen around, not saying that at all. Hey. Oh, so. What is Coleman going to have to do to put him away here? White, a tougher competitor than any of us give him any credit for. Now running into the corner with a high knee. Going for the bull. No, not for the bulldog. Another knee, and Coleman is down. And a shining wizard to follow up now that you're 
finally paying attention. Look at that instant replay right in the nose. I don't know if Taylor's going to want to go home with him after getting his face rearranged like that. Oh, I'm sure she can find somebody to take her home. Now, Taylor Hendricks on the apron. Referee, get her out of there. What is... Get her away from there. Get that protein box out of there as well. She's just offering him a drink. And protein look like. And Will White with the quick roll up. One, two, three. That's it. Will White is your winner. Oh, well, let's be honest. You thought it was chocolate milk mix. Anyway, what a match. White coming out on top. And Joe Coleman giving Taylor Hendricks to the business on the outside of the ring, trying to claim she cost him the victory. Taylor having none of it, blaming Coleman for his own shortcomings. And I'll bet you that's not his only shortcomings, Jacob. What a home wrecker this White is. Unbelievable. Look at the tension and dissension he's causing this lovely couple. That's it. I can't work like this. I give up. All right, it's Jacob Elwood here. Thanks for tuning in to Strong Style Wrestling. Steve Sorensen is out of here. Congratulations, Hoyle White. We'll see you next time.